I am a huge procrastinator. I remember being up until 1 a.m. studying for exams the night before, Christmas shopping on Christmas Eve. Today is no different. It is the last day here at Epcot of the Flower and Garden Festival. But instead of trying to cram for an exam, we're gonna see how much food we can cram in our stomachs. We're gonna try things we haven't tried yet throughout the festival, so come along with me. Today is a super hot day here at Epcot, so I thought we'd start the day with a cold drink. So we're heading over to World Showcase, and we're going to grab the Frozen Desert Violet Lemonade. I've heard amazing things about this drink, so what better day to grab it than the last day? Flower and Garden is by far my favorite festival here at Epcot. Number one, because it has some beautiful topiaries. Look how cute this topiary is of Goofy holding his bouquet of flowers. How could you not love this festival? And we have arrived at our first destination, the Pineapple Promenade, to grab the frozen dessert violet lemonade. Our drink has been acquired and oh my god is this thing beautiful. The purple is so vibrant. It has a violet on top and I cannot wait to dig in and try this. Let's see what it's like. Oh my goodness. That is sweet. But really, really good. I've never had anything with violet in it before so it's really interesting. It's a flavor palette I have no knowledge about at all. And it's so new for my taste buds. Have you guys ever just had something you've never tasted before? and your taste buds are just overwhelmed with goodness. That's the strength. I'm really glad I ended up picking this up and I can see why it's a favorite of people visiting the Flower and Garden Festival. One of the things I love about Walt Disney World is we have four parks and Epcot is really neat. It's one I am learning to love more and more. You have so many countries you can go and visit. There's so much culture here you can learn and there's fun rides on top of that. We have had our delicious frozen violet drink though, and we're actually gonna make our way around the World Showcase now. And we're gonna stop on our way to our first food item for my favorite ride, which is Frozen Ever After in Norway. It still amazes me that these things are made of flowers, but these topiaries here in Norway of Anna and Elsa are some of my favorite here at Epcot. Frozen is currently posted an 85 minute wait, although cast members were saying 95. So this ride is still busy on a not busy day, but luckily we're gonna be hopping in the lightning lane. Words cannot explain how much I love that ride. I get off of it crying every single time. I don't know why, it just makes me that like happy, sad and inspired because I love Elsa's story and just how she grows. And we got front row that time. I have never been on the front row, which was awesome. Nobody's in front of you. And what was really neat is when you're going down past Marshmallow for that drop, you can see all the water cascade at the front of the boat. You'll get like a little damp, but it's really not that wet. We're starting to get a little bit of scattered showers here, but I'm, we'll take it because the cloudiness is very nice. It's keeping it manageable here. And you know, I wouldn't be opposed to a little bit of rain to cool off. Next up on our agenda though, is going to be our first food item, which we are heading over to Germany for. The big ticket rides do have a very long wait right now. Remy's was up to two hours. I was gonna take you all on that, but decided that was way too long to wait. But as we're walking around, crowds out here really aren't too bad. Before we snag our food, I wanna show you all my favorite thing here in Germany, and maybe one of my favorite things around the World Showcase. Look at this mini train set and housing area. It's like a city here in Germany and it's one of the things I find really cool. Our first time when we came to Epcot since we moved here, we came across this thing and I have been in love ever since. 
You can see little people just living their lives out on their front porches, doing some shopping. And watching the trains go around is really cool. And there's an area in the back over there. And I love the elevated area with the housing back there too. I spoke a little too soon about the rain, it's coming. So we're gonna try to get into some cover because I don't want to get my camera wet. All right, we made it. We're in cover and we're not gonna get wet. And we're right in Germany, which is perfect. So when the rain dies down a little bit, we will snag our food. We have acquired our potato pancake here in Germany. Instead of the applesauce, I decided to go with ham. And it has a plant-based sour cream on top. And it looks and smells very, very good. So let's go ahead and dig in. I'm intrigued. I have never had a potato pancake before but I love ham, I love potatoes, I love sour cream. So I feel like this is gonna be a little hard to mess up. That sour cream on top alone is the stuff right there, you all. Let's get a little ham. It's almost a little sweet and the potato definitely has some garlic in it, which is really nice. I love garlic. The best part I think is that vegan sour cream on top. I feel like I haven't had sour cream in a long time because I can't have dairy and that tastes just like sour cream. It's really, really good. The potato cake was not disappointing, you know? That's one I would probably pick up again. And all things considered, I like to be honest with, with everybody. Like, the food at these festivals isn't always the best. I like myself a home-cooked meal, personally. But as far as out food, that was good. I enjoyed it. Here in Germany, though, is a really cool topiary that I really like that is Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. So we're gonna stop by and take a look at those while we head to our next location for a dessert, which is up next. Here are all of our Seven Dwarves. I love the caterpillar on his nose. That is so cute. They are all adorable and hard at work over here. And over off to the left side, we are going to have Snow White. And here is Snow White with her little friend. He's off to work he goes. These things are absolutely beautiful. I love the red in her bow. We're slowly making our way over to the American Pavilion so we can see one of the new topiaries for Flower and Garden this year. And one of my absolute favorites. Always love it when people wave at us. And that topiary is none other than the stunning Tiana. How beautiful is she? This one is absolutely gorgeous and I love the magnolia they put on the side. The backdrop they have for her is really cool too. I love all the depth that was added and I'm so glad they added this one this year. And we have quite literally come full circle. We're over by the Land Pavilion for our cookies and cream chocolate cup, which is plant-based. Everything we've eaten today is actually plant-based and it's all been really good. And I'm super excited for this because I love chocolate cookies and cream. I feel like there's a limited desserts all the time that are vegan or plant-based. So I'm really excited to do this. And it has a beautiful little flower on the top. The presentation for everything has been really nice, especially that violet drink in this one. Let's go ahead and dig in. It has some cookie crumbles on top, which is really nice. And mousse is delicious. It's just so smooth. Oh man, that is very, very good. That mousse is delicious. It just melts in your mouth. I wanna get a little bit of the cake this time. This is the best thing I've had all day. I'm so glad we grabbed this. There's no way I'm gonna eat all of this. It is so rich. Definitely gonna take some home. I wish Estella could have some. She would love this. I thought I lost my lid for a second. You know what I've learned today? Procrastination's not so bad. You know, last day of flower and garden and we got some delicious food. Got on a ride, got to have fun with some topiaries and checking those out again. And this chocolate cup was the best ending to the day. So, you know, I'll probably continue another 35 years of my life with some procrastination. <laughs> you all, if you had fun hanging out, make sure to join me and Estella for some more adventures. We have the monorail behind us, that's pretty cool. I'll link here our video to our Hidden Secrets of Epcot if you wanna continue hanging out with us and enjoy some more of Epcot here at Walt Disney World. And we'll see you guys soon.